Welcome to the DIY Lawn Revival Kit. First things first, I'm gonna use this spade to dig myself a little pothole to work out what soil amendments you need to condition your soil. Alrighty, make a little square. Once we lift up this little square, that literally takes us 10 seconds to make, we're gonna determine what soil is in there. So, hope you can all see it. There's no clay. It's very soily. That calls for the Retain Pro. Let's go. Let's pop that back in. Give it a little kick down. Same way it came out, same way it goes back in. The next step is to measure out your backyard. I'm gonna step it out. If it's your lawn, I would prefer that you use the tape measure. You only need to do this once and record the amount. So I'm gonna times your length by your width and that's gonna give you a square meter rate of how big your area is. Let's go. Sixteen meters long by eight meters wide. I work that out six eight forty eight times eighty, one hundred and twenty eight square meters. That's our area. We'll work that area out here again. 16 times eight equals 128 meters squared. So we've determined to condition the soil here that we're gonna need the Retain Pro. Uh, it's not a clay base, it is a sandy soily base. So we're gonna use the Retain Pro. The Retain Pro rate is 100 mils per 100 square meters. So to cover 128 square meters for the retain, I need 128 mils. We're just gonna round it to 130, right? WSF seaweed, that is 200 mils per 100 square meters. WSF seaweed. I'm going to need, which is a a double of the last amount, I'm going to need 160 mil. Sorry, I'm going to need 260 mil. So, what I've got here, and I do hope that you can see it, is I've got my area, I've got my products that I'm going to use to condition the soil, and I've got how much I need to put in. You do this process every four weeks. You purchase one of these kits, I guarantee that I'll make you up a program to follow for free. So I'm just gonna write here, every repeat, every four weeks, all right? Next thing we gotta do, we've got our area, we've got our products, we've got our rates. We're gonna work out how to apply them. Today I'm gonna use the birch I think this is the easiest way to apply the products. The products get mixed together but not until you work out how this operates. So, always try whether you got this, your backpack sprayer. There's a couple of different ways that you can apply the products. You can apply them through a backpack sprayer, and I've got a calibration for that as well. Um, just check out Vanderland's sprayer calibration, so you can mix these products in that backpack sprayer or your five liter sprayer. I do, however, like I said, find this to be the easiest way. But either way, when you're testing and, and calibrating these things, always do it with water first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up with water. I'm gonna choose a setting that I think is appropriate for 128 square meters, which I think one on the dial is. If it's under 100 square meters, I always use, and test it with water first, but I always use 2.0. If it's over 100 square meters, in between 100 and 200, I'll use one, and if it's a really big lawn, I'll go down to 0.5. So I'm calling a really big lawn over 200 square meters. I'll go down, just click it down to 0.5. Anyway, always testing with just water first. What I'll be doing. Okay, like I said, very simple. Firstly, I just want you to fill out with water. And I want you to fill it to the 1.25 liter mark, which is just there on the bottle. After you've filled it up. Screw on the lid. Click it on the hose. 
you're ready to go. Always test it at full pressure, uh, and then you've got somewhere to sort of go back to. So full pressure's on, I'm gonna turn you around and I'm gonna show you how I apply it. Alrighty, filling just with water. All we're trying to work out is the calibration of this. So I'm just gonna walk up in bays, and by the time I get halfway, I wanna be half empty on this. So you're gonna start for 128 square meters, click it back to, um, to setting one or forward, or leave it on setting one if it is. I'm just gonna continue to walk in bays, up and down lengthways until I'm finished this product. That will tell me if I need to walk faster or walk slower. Once you've perfected it and you can empty out your container, your Birchmere container, then you're ready to put the products in and make the application. You just rinse and repeat this process every four weeks. It's as easy as that. So let's check it out and show you how I spray it. Okay, so might take you a couple of times to get through to empty out that bottle and uh, understand what, what speed you need to walk at. Remember, you can increase it if you, if you need to get it to come out quicker, or you can knock it back a notch if you want it to come out slower. Once you work that out, you are ready to put on some PPE and apply the products. Before applying the products, we're going to apply some ProTurf fertilizer. So it needs to be watered in anyhow, so I think why not put the Pro Turf down first and then apply the products on top of it so that they both get watered into the soil at the same time. Kill two birds with one stone. Our Lord Revival rate for Pro Turf, this is the only thing different is that's difference to the maintenance pack is, is the rate on the Pro Turf. So we don't use any more soil conditioner than we do to maintain our turf once it's uh, in good health. But however, we do play around with the Pro Turf a little bit. So the Pro Turf rate for revival on lawns is four kilos uh, per hundred. That works out to be about a kilo every 25, well exactly, a kilo every 25 square meters. Now just remember, getting back to it, we had 128 square meters. So roughly, I've got to put in 5.1 kilos of Pro Turf. I'm just gonna roll with five. Five kilos of pro turf. So there we have it. How I'm gonna apply that is just in my little hand spreader here. One of these holds 2.5 kilos, so I've got to do two hoppers across the lawn. I really recommend that this stuff does come out fast, and I really recommend that you guys knock it back, uh, probably the mid-range setting, until you work out how quick this comes out. You can always add more. You can't really pull it back once it's on the lawn. However, don't be alarmed if you do. You'll just use more Pro Turf. This stuff won't burn. Um, it's just not needed to go really any higher than four kilos. All right, I fill that up. We're gonna fur that out onto lawn before we come back, mix up our products and spray them over the top. Let's go. Pull the fur in. Just be careful you don't drop any. If you do drop any clumps, just give them a brush over with your hand. So two and a half kilos. If you've got a different uh, hand applicator, just know that that's a quarter of the 10 kilo bucket, yeah? This is for me and my purpose only. Remember, four kilos per 100. Anyhow, start on that smaller setting. Time to fur it out. Okay, time to apply. I'll do my first run towards you. I'm gonna do it the same way as I did with the uh, Aquamix, and it's gonna be lengthways. So I seem to think that this thing spreads out two meters. Um, however, I'll just check that as I go and I'll make an adjustment as to where I walk in my next little strip. Stay with me.
Once you've spread that third out evenly across your lawn, you're ready to go for the uh, Aquamix Soil Amendment products. Okay, time to mix our products. So, if you've got a clay soil, the only thing different is instead of using the retain wetting agent, you would use the Propel. And instead of using the seaweed at 200 mil per 100, you'd be using it at 100 mil per 100 square meters. You would also be throwing in 100 mil of jute flow every 100 square meters. So, that would be your clay mix at 100 mil for each product per 100 square meters. However, we are on a Sandia profile today, so I'm going with the Retain Pro at 100 mil per 100 square meters and the WSF Seaweed at 200 mil per 100 square meters. Get confused about this, make sure you message me. Or just pause and rewind the video. Uh, anyhow, told you, 128 square meters. So, I've got a little chamber bottle here. Before you do it, I'm pretending about this. Give the bottle a good shake. I'm gonna put in 128 mil. Most important thing to do is to wear gloves and safety equipment um, with any products, not just turf products, but if it's got any sort of chemicals in, um, you don't want it on your skin. Your skin is your biggest organ in your body, so protect it. However, let's get on with it. I'm gonna squeeze this up just to 100 mil, and it goes to 100 mil. I pour it on in, very simple. And now I'm just gonna squeeze it up to 30 mil. To have done, quite easy. Same deal, pour it in. Put the lid on this. That's done, that's done for four weeks. Give this one a good shake. I so remember I gotta double it. This is 200 mil per 100 square meters for the sandy soils. So I'm going for 260. So obviously two lots of 100 mil. In goes the first lot. Squeeze it up. In goes the second lot. And I'm just looking for 60 mil. In goes the last lot. Okay. We know that that setting one or the setting two, whatever you decided on was good for you and your lawn. <laughs> It's just about putting it, clicking it on the hose, spraying it out. Now, once you spray through your product, you've got to understand that the um, product is in solution and it's still on top of your leaf. So once it blows clear through my hose, I'm then going to walk over the lawn and wash it off the leaf and into the soil. That's the fertilizer and the soil amendment start. And you guys are on the road to recovery for your lawn. So good stuff. Any questions, make sure you sling us a message. Alrighty, like I said, we're trying to avoid contact with any of these products on our skin. So I like to use rain pants. You can, however, use overalls. I just feel like rain pants um, are reusable as opposed to the uh, spray suits, which I do sell. I think they're a bit of um, a bit of a landfill waste. So I have them as an option for you. I don't have the rain pants yet, but I will get them on there and we can reuse them for every application. Keep it off your skin. Let's get it back on the lawn. good thing worth mentioning here is I want you guys to mark about halfway on your lawn and check your calibration as you're going so get down to the bottle have a look say yeah I'm going I'm going all right I'm going to finish that bottle by the time I get to the end of my runs or it might uh, indicate that you need to slow down a touch or maybe even quicken up but anyway check it halfway so you don't come to the end and you've got product left or you don't make it to the end because you've ran out
mark that you can do um, if you have trouble you know going over your lawn and emptying out this sort of thing is you can just fill it up to a litre you can fill it up to 800 mil you can fill it up to wherever you want to fill it up to um, that's desired for your lawn so you can also walk twice over if it takes you to walk twice over in different directions to empty it out you can do that also I am um, all about efficiency I want to get in I want to apply it once over then I want to water it in <coughs> get out of there go enjoy the, the rest of the day There is a sound it makes when the um, when the product runs through, and you'll feel a little bit of a pressure increase, and then you're right to wash it in. A couple ways you can wash it in. The products do have a 24-hour period um, on which they need to be watered in before they lose efficiency. So um, you can chance it with some rain, and if it doesn't rain in 24 hours, just before that window ends, you can just get on there and water it in, or you water in straight away um, after the product's blown through. I like to use the sprinkler. I know that my sprinkler does about 95% of my lawn and I can turn it on for 30 minutes and that'll give me three mil of irrigation. Um, however, I just do that little 5% hand water in and then turn the sprinkler on. It's up to you guys. However, the product does have to be watered into the soil for it to do its magic and um, you need to do that within 24 hours. So the choice is yours. Here's that sound I'm talking about. Pressure. That's it.